Good morning. Today is our last day in Spain and in Madrid, and I think we're gonna spend the day seeing the rest of this beautiful city. So let's go. So we're starting off our morning by doing a Rick Steves audio tour. We've had some success with those in the past, so uh, we're using it as our main way to get to know the city. And we're starting off in the Plaza del Sol, which is kind of the heart of the center of the city. history about this place called La Mallorquina and they're known for their Napolitanos so there's um, we ordered a savory one that's ham and then one chocolate and one vanilla and some cappuccinos so I'm really excited I always like when a tour includes some food too so we got our Napolitanos and I guess people don't normally order three for two people because the waiter had a like, double take at our uh, order so I think I'm gonna go for the normal one, vanilla first. So it's like a sweet croissant with vanilla cream inside. Um, it's really good, it's like very flaky um, and sweet. And then the cream is like not too thick, it's just a little bit. Kind of like the cream inside of um, like a Boston cream donut, if you're familiar with that. That's pretty good. The only thing I'm most excited about though is the chocolate. So I'm gonna try that one next. So actually, I don't know if it's just like each individual one, but the dough on this one seems a little less flaky, like a little denser. And the chocolate is kind of just like if they melted um, like melted chocolate chips inside, so very sweet but very good. So now the savory one is ham and cheese inside of the same kind of like flaky. The flakiness seems more like the first one and ham and cheese inside. Um, it's really good too. This one's actually warm. It's a little bit different. Um, but the ham and cheese is it's really good. That's <laughs> really good. It's nice to break it up with the savory one, the two sweet one, so I'm just going to keep enjoying this. That was awesome. Uh, we hadn't had breakfast yet and that really hit the spot. I uh, highly recommend getting the Napolitano's. I think my favorite was the ham and cheese one actually. Since we left the restaurant, we have gone through Plaza Mayor, and then we went through the market, and then um, back to the church where they in the convent where they sell the cookies that we bought the other day. So our next stop here on our tour is the. Royal Palace of Madrid. Unfortunately, we can't bring a camera with us inside, uh, so we'll catch you up on everything in a minute. I really wish we could have taken you guys in there. Um, that was absolutely fantastic. Um, the palace is beautiful, just one beautiful room after another. Um, it was actually designed in the same style as Versailles, the king who had built this palace after the original one burned down. Um, he was born in Versailles and wanted a place just like that here for Spain. Um, and you can feel that um, just the grandness of Versailles, if you've ever been there, uh, this is very similar and maybe even in some ways one step up where things just feel a little bit bigger, a little bit grander. Um, and it, I would really recommend coming here. Garden here, 
Um, it looks to be one of their bigger gardens in the city. Uh, so I think we're just gonna enjoy a nice stroll around the park. Madrid is just full of so much to do. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very pedestrian friendly city. Uh, you just spend hours walking around, mm -hmm. going to all the little parks, all the museums. If you enjoyed this video, uh, you can also catch our whole Spain trip, including what to eat in Spain. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll put the links up here. This brings our trip to Spain to an end, yeah. sadly. Yeah. I think we both had a really excellent time here. Definitely. But I think that's it for us. Goodbye. Bye.